top law enforcement brass from across Massachusetts gathered here at the FBI headquarters in Chelsea. They were here to talk about a local cold case, and you're going to hear about that more later in the news. But they also commented on how they're preparing for the final days of Donald Trump's presidency. Trump supporters showed up outside the state house four days after last November's election when the race was called for Joe Biden. And last Saturday, a smaller group continued to demonstrate outside Governor Baker's house in Swampscott. We should be able to say what we want to say without worrying about who's going to censor us or who's going to harass us. Now, an internal FBI memo says pro-Trump demonstrations nationwide could turn out like last week's storming of the U.S. Capitol during the days leading up to Biden's inauguration. But the head of the FBI in Boston says so far his agents have heard no credible information of a planned attack here or in any of the three other New England states covered by his office. However, I want to be clear in that intelligence can change by the second, and if and when it were to, you all, I would like all of you to know and the public to know that we are fully in sync with our federal, state, and local partners. The top federal prosecutor in Boston says so far his office has not charged anyone in connection with last week's storming of the Capitol. He says he faces a higher bar than D.C. prosecutors who only have to prove someone illegally entered the building. If you're here in Massachusetts, what you're primarily looking for is people who left Massachusetts and crossed state lines with the intent to engage in property destruction, uh, or in, in violence. Now, one man from Pittsfield, Mass., he has been charged in D.C. with un unlawful entry and violating a curfew. He has since been released while waiting his next court hearing. Live in Chelsea, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5.